Hello and welcome to UAT Time within the United Country Special by First Ukraine. You can find us on the frequencies available on our website firstua.com. I'm Sergei Vilichansky. And I am Olivier Vedrin. UAT Time is the key to bring Ukraine and Europe closer to each other by introducing the rail train to the rest of the world. New Tax Code 2016, Anti-Corruption Forum. And it's not the end of what is in the plans to happen in the next couple of weeks till the new year. What can we expect? Will there be changes for good or for worse? Our guest today is Andrei Dligac, co-founder of Civic Path from the new country. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for joining us. And uh, thank you for the invitation. <laughs> probably the question number one is the bill uh, or tax or potential new tax code or the version of it is number 3357. Or, or 3630. Yes. We have two different uh, different uh, projects, uh, law projects, but I want to say that uh, one, 3357, um, was prepared by a huge group of uh, civil experts mm -hmm. and of um, a special committee uh, of uh, parliament. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, this code is a liberal code on uh, taxation reform. Okay. Another version of, uh, of this code was prepared by Ministry of Finance, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, unfortunately we do not know exactly the names of, of the authors of uh, this law. Uh, but as we saw, uh, this law is, uh, is not liberal. Okay. Uh, this law conserves um, our um, current system, corruption mm -hmm. system in the taxation system. Well, as far as I understand, the authors of the law is... Uh Price Water, Waterhouse Coopers, probably. And, uh, at least the statement on the uh, Ministry of Finance uh, website is actually clearly states that uh, the assistance of to the Ukrainian government by the UK government, and it states that under this agreement, the UK government dis disburses disburses funds directly to Price Waterhouse Coopers, who carry the work out on the behalf of Ukraine with our oversight. And another interesting issue is that the IMF statement says that they fully support the, uh, the Ministry of Finance uh, version, right, 3630. And uh, uh, again, on their, uh, as their statement, they say, it is with concern that we have observed the discussions yesterday in Parliament that effectively rejected the government's proposal for a new tax code and the government budget for 2016. Now, the question is, uh, what is going on? Mm. Of course, uh, civil society and even even experts from uh, Parliament, from Verkhovna Rada, uh, no, we we didn't have a chance to communicate with IMF in the way uh, that the Ministry of Finance uh, okay. has. So so we prepared uh, liberal reforms based on several. Uh, key points. Mm -hmm. One of the key points is the changes uh, of uh, of the uh, state fiscal administration role okay. uh, to make to make them uh, consultants more than uh, more than police. All right. The second issue is the uh, uh, changes in tax, uh, taxation rates because of current situation in the economy. Uh, hidden part of economy is approximately 70 percent of yeah. GDP, yeah. etc. We need to, to to make the economy official. Mm -hmm. So we propose the changes uh, in, in the rates of the um, of the uh, taxation. Uh, the third issue is the changes in um, in culture of uh, of taxes in Ukraine. Uh, the, the first and the very important issue is that uh, tax administrator make a decision how many taxes company should pay to state budget. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need to completely change the system to make this automatically, to return um, um, VAT for exporters, etc. Yes. To make it in, in absolutely in automatic way. Unfortunately, Ministry of Finance conserved the current system and trans, uh, uh, um, um, untypical for, for developed economies. So, uh, so, of course, we propose to the Ministry of Finance to, to uh, make this law uh, jointly. Yeah. We, we were open for them uh, during the last year 
more mm -hmm. than tw uh, 12 months. But unfortunately, Minister of Finance uh, decided to make this law without uh, civil experts and without uh, without Verkhovna Rada. How you explain that? This is incredible. To, to, to this is incredible. You know, it's, uh, it's absolutely not democratic way and non-liberal way. Well, let me state the position of the Ministry of Finance. They said on their website again that uh, in the frameworks of the preparation of this project, Ministry of Finance has had over 20 meetings with the civil uh, representatives, business, international yes. and Ukrainian it's, experts. It's true. It's true. Ministry of Finance proposed uh, some kind of open platform mm -hmm. for different uh, civil groups uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, and the tax experts. We proposed our um, uh, ideas mm -hmm. and visions to Ministry of Finance. And that's all. Okay. But they, they, they listen to you, but they do nothing. Yes. Uh, okay. They closed, uh, the, after this open platforms, they closed uh, our uh, joint proposals and, and they right. were concentrated on their, uh, their decisions. Unfortunately, the uh, Ministry of Finance um, had to m make this uh, proposition not later than in July this year. Mm -hmm. But they um, shown their um, code only on November. Okay. So, so we decided to work jointly with the uh, uh, Committee of uh, Parliament and to, to prepare this code. Um, we, we have prepared it, uh, I think, uh, on August, August yeah. this year. My question is this. Why does IMF support the government's uh, version of the tax code? I mean, what kind of reforms is there? There is, uh, the, because uh, again, on their statement is approval of a budget that deviates from program objectives for 2016 and the medium term will interrupt the program and uh, mm -hmm. inevitably disrupt the associated interna international financing. So basically they say that if uh, the government's proposal isn't supported, then so what's the what's the deal? It's, uh, for me, you know, I, I I don't know your opinion, but you know, I think the the, the IMF uh, they have the they have the main problem than the the EU in this uh, in this way. That means they are. Excuse me, but they really don't know what's happened really sometimes. And you know, for the IMF or for the EU, for them, they, what what they see, they see the law. The law is voted or the law is not voted? Oh, the law is voted. Okay. And they read that. Don't, they don't take care of the process of the law. They don't take care. Because this is in their way of thinking, you know. They think, they think only in the top level management yeah. and top level economy. And I think this is, that's why the, you have this, uh, I say, contradiction. Uh, that's why, because they don't understand. Uh, but this is in the, the culture of the MF. This is in the culture of the European Union. They only take care about the top level and not of the process mm -hmm. of the law, not of the process of uh, the transformation. And that's a big, big gap for the EU and for the IMF. I don't know what you yeah. think about that. Um, I think that uh, you're right, but uh, I, I want to say the following. First of all, it's not our fault uh, that we, we um, didn't manage it to, to explain IMF our position. We had several meetings with IMF, but um, uh, IMF don't think about uh, civil society as a subject of reforms and changes in, uh, in, you agree. in uh, Ukraine, of course. But from the other hand, we, uh, we of course, uh, think that IMF is very important for Ukraine, for, for stability in Ukraine. But IMF is not an uh, institution uh, which, is, uh, which is about reforms in Ukraine. We need to make reforms ourselves. Um, IMF asked Ukrainian government to do not broke our promises concerning state budget, deficit, deficit of this budget. Mm -hmm. Of course, when uh, minister, minister of Finance promised to IMF that their law and their uh, budget proposed made uh, IMF terms. Of course, IMF believe in Minister of Finance, mm. not in civil society, civil experts, of course. But uh, Ukraine do not need stability. Stability on the lowest level uh, of GDP per, uh, per capita mm. in Europe 
it's it's not a good stability for Ukraine. No. Yeah. Of course, we need development. Mm. Minister of Finance and Prime Minister thinks in terms of stability or very small uh, small uh, growth in uh, the mm -hmm. next years. But we think in terms of uh, growth of GDP, in terms of plus 10% a year, mm. it's what we need after this, uh, this huge, uh, yeah. huge and this is possible. loss last year. This is possible with your economy to have of a, course. Uh, this increased GDP of 10% per year. This of is course. possible. It's absolutely you possible. And we know these instruments. And this you are an economist and, yes. and this is possible to do. If we deal with corruption. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, well, <laughs> this, this is why I, I, was, I yeah. want to uh, point one uh, thing that uh, our uh, code uh, 3357 is anti-corruption law, okay. not only uh, the taxation law, but anti-corruption. But, yes. but really, Andre, we have here a problem for me, and this uh, this fact for me underlines a big problem. The problem is communication. Yes. Communication. Why a government it can do uh, 20 meetings with civil society and no communication about the process, about the result? Yeah, no, and yeah, for me, this is the big gap. You, no well, communication. You don't communicate. Thing, I want to address this issue from a little different uh, uh, view, viewpoint. Um, we often heard for the past several years that we need to have people in government who graduated from Western universities because they are educated, they know all the issues of uh, communication, mm. management, and all that stuff. Well, right after Maidan, quite a few of those people went in sacrificing their own good for the sake of the country, but many people still dissatisfied. Yes. Some of those people, uh, former uh, top managers, um, had to leave the government because they couldn't find a way to really implement their, their professionalism. And some remain pretty much. We have uh, a lot of uh, you know, high uh, uh, compliments uh, about the Minister of Finance and, and many other, well, as far as professional. Yes. But what is happening? Why? What changes? Why, why do they change like that? Why, why do they act like this? Just like as though as they were uh, in the government for 20 years, you know? The problem is the system. The system. That, that means you can have a good idea, but if you are totally uh, lost in the system, mm -hmm. uh, you, you can put few, you know, you have a system, positive system, and you change only some ministry and some deputy minister. But if all the administration is still there, even if you have the and, best and graduate not, of not Harvard. Not only personalities, response. but also the whole system, yeah. pro process. Even the reform of state um, uh, of the of, uh, cabinet of ministers, we didn't manage it to, to move uh, into um, parliament. Be, uh, they are against these ch changes. Yeah. Hydra, corruption, Hydra in the, in the Ukrainian system of mm -hmm. uh, governance is still very strong. Uh, we, have, we have very, uh, very simple metrics exp uh, which is explained um, all, all this situation in Ukraine. Two dichotomies. One dichotomy is uh, conservation or modernization of mm. economy. And the second di dichotomy is control uh, paternalism or responsible trust uh, or freedom. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Hydra and the um, uh, cabinet of ministers thinks in terms of uh, conservation and paternalism and control. Mm -hmm. uh, even, even in this uh, taxation court, they use these terms but we speak about modernization and responsible trust and freedom yeah. in economy, in uh, state governance, in, uh, uh, for example, in uh, ju justice system. In Ukraine, we have lack of trust because we do not have um, uh, trust but, system at all. But why, after Maidan, they don't remove all this old administration? Why they don't remove uh, the uh, high civil servants and all these old they, you mean You mean the current, current leaders? The, the, the current leaders, leader, the political leaders. They're interested to, to use this old system yeah. in order to earn money. And on that's the problem. 
Yes, from and state that's budget, from, and that's from state companies, and from uh, and public uh, purchases, etc. No. And, and that's why e even if you are graduate from Harvard, if you go to the system, you will change yes. nothing. Yes, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to the uh, corruption issue because we'll, I want to hear more about the anti-corruption forum. Yeah. But uh, one question I have, why would the UK government pay uh, to a private company, Price Water, Water House Coopers, Price for House. them to ah Price Water House. It's, a, it's, it's another. It's, it's a bit another company. Uh, he is like a franchise company here in Ukraine. Franchise, uh, yes, franchise. Okay, okay. Underline this fact. This is important. Ah, Price Water House. Well, but basic no. Uh, the, there's person that finds directly to PWC. Maybe. That's what uh, oh. I don't know. So mm -hmm. Price Water House Coopers. Maybe. Price what I was Coopers, well, not, the, not franchising uh, company. Uh, specific. Well, this is the, this is the statement from the website okay. of. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So and uh, it's signed by Judith Guth, uh, British ambassador to Ukraine. Why would they be so interested to pay? Uh, and nobody knows how much. I mean, uh, you know, the rumors, but uh, mm -hmm. nobody knows. Anyway, why, 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 why? Why UK pay for this uh, reform? Why, why would the, uh, the UK pay their own money for this? Not the European Union funds or uh, foundations or specifically the country to pay this. What, what kind of interest do they have That's in this? You, 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 this is a, it's a very interesting question, but you have to understand and this question open to another question, the policy of the EU and the policy of the state member of the okay. EU. Okay, so... That's mean, you are the uh, expert, tell yeah, me. Yeah, that's mean okay. you have two policies in the EU. You have the policy of the European Union and the policy of the European Commission, mm -hmm. and you have the policy of each state member of the European Union. Okay. And sometimes the policy of the, of the state of the, uh, of the state member of the European Union can be different from the policy of the European Commission. Okay. And sometimes the policy of a state member of, of the European Union can be against the policy of the European Commission. Okay. So? And that's, I think, the problem. So that's that's the UK here, UK does not take care about the policy of the European Union. They do their own game in Ukraine for their own interest. That's mean economical interest. Well, I don't know if it's good or bad. I just state this fact, and I'm just curious why would a specific country take interest in I, sponsoring? I think I think it's 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 not a bad way. Uh, we thank okay. to United Kingdom. Um, I mean, this yeah, way because because we really need uh, funding of this process of preparing laws etc because because uh, volunteers are um, do, 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 don't have. Uh, a lot of capacity sure. to, to do this and we uh, and of course state budget uh, c cannot cover these expenses on no, preparing a, but, uh, codes, but my question codes. is they supported the development of the budget that now we as civil society we fight against yes they so are they, they have their own interest unfortunately they have their transparency own is very important issue for yeah. ukraine okay. for now so uh, of, of course we we asked our deputies in uh, rada to make their uh, their questions to minister of finance okay. uh, on this issue uh, so, so i think that we will know more about uh, preparation of uh, their law but but of course you are quite right that uh, question of ta uh, taxes is a question of corruption mm -hmm. yes. still in ukraine well and now we will we'll get uh, to this right now uh, on uh, december 23 uh, I don't know if it's an un unprecedented uh, event, but at least uh, it looks like it. At least it's the biggest or one of the more uh, most urgent events since Maidan, yes. pretty much. Anti-corruptional forum. It's purpose to concentrate the efforts and powers of society to fight with corruption in all of the spheres. Uh, law enforcement, economies, e economics, uh, politics, Etc. Now, uh, some of the major uh, uh, social uh, and uh, civil uh, movements and organizations uh, uh, participate in it. Uh, Mikhail Saakashvili as well, yes. as well. And so, 
would you I know I know I've followed your uh, uh, announcement about that yeah. actually when it was yesterday or on Friday on, on Friday, the prime on Friday. time TV yeah, yeah. Uh, you you stock, you spoke about that as well yes, absolutely. so what is it so uh, after the two years after uh, Maidan we see that uh, we I mean civil society we see that most of our ideas or projects or uh, laws are not changing the system at all. Yeah. For example, uh, we introduced to government a um, um, project named uh, Prozoro as a uh, public purchasing uh, project, electronic mm -hmm. public, yes. uh, uh, pro public procurement. Uh, but still, this uh, project is restricted by, uh, by um, Amount, uh, amount of mm -hmm. money, uh, mm -hmm. it, it, and uh, this this project is not cover all public. Uh, so they use only in procurement. the yes. narrow. Yes. Okay. Uh, and the same situation with almost all ideas. Our ideas do not change system. Okay. So we decided to start anti-corruption movement, or maybe it will be some kind of. Uh, uh, platform, etc. Uh, we need to to consolidate civil society to in order to kill Hydra, mm -hmm. corruption, uh, oligarch system in Ukraine. We do not speak about person, person uh, in uh, corruption system. Mm -hmm. We do not speak uh, about corruptioners. We speak only about system. Mm -hmm. We need to change system, okay. not to change. Pers personalities in this system. But in this way, I think, you know, uh, I was also on Maidan, I, and uh, we have some common friends with Andre. Mm -hmm. uh, the process of Maidan is not handed. We are only on the beginning of the process. Yes. And you know, you were on Maidan, you know that uh, the, the, the Rada of Maidan, the Maidan protesters, the Maidan, the Maideners, they were not for those leaders. Never they were for those yes. leaders. Yeah. And that's the result. Well, I think that's why the anti-corruption uh, uh, forum the, yeah. is a continuation. Yeah, there's a continuation. Maybe, we, maybe we will we'll show to, for example, the European Union a new way of leadership, uh, leadership, group leadership. Uh, unfortunately, we do not he have uh, uh, personalities in our in our groups we, we we do have group uh, and joint common vision of uh, yes. how to beat the corruption in ukraine uh, andre uh, two weeks ago i was mm -hmm. talking with my friend the president mm -hmm. former president Henri Malos, president of uh -huh. the european economic civil committee yeah. he said to me olivier what is going on what is going on in ukraine because he, he understood that something was going on because two years after uh, after Medan, he said, Olivier, what is going on? Do, do they have new leaders? Because in Brussels, we, we, we don't understand and we need to trust. Mm -hmm. We need to trust. And they, right now, they have problem to trust those leaders. And the problem of, you know, in, in this Time magazine, you have an article about uh, corruption with uh, some problem with the prime minister of Ukraine. And really, the effect on the European Union for the financial aid it will be huge yeah. yes and i think all the former maidener they, they have to think about some leaders come on because the eu is waiting for that the emf and usa also we, can, is waiting we cannot for appoint a leader you yeah, know i know i know, I know yes. of course we will we will found in civil society new leaders and forum is a is a platform for, for these new leaders you have a lot to, of to show their, their position, their, their ideas, etc. You have a lot of brilliant person. Yes, a absolutely. Lot of. Yes, but, but you know the tr 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 Ukrainian tradition. Uh, we speak about <laughs> yeah. two, two Ukrainians are three generals. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but but yes. uh, this forum is not a uh, leader's forum. This I forum know, know. is a civil forum. No. And of course, we will see new uh, brilliant uh, potential leaders on this forum. Uh, we expect more than 3,000 attendees of this uh, mm. forum this Wednesday, mm. uh, day after tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, and the main idea is to find a way how to beat system. Well, my uh, final statement probably would be is 
It's true that uh, before we get new names, uh, we need to change the system, uh, beat the corruptional system. Because if we see, as, as I mentioned, some of the good uh, representatives from the business, once they get into the system, then uh, they get, uh, you know, this but disease you, or something. I don't know. Sergey, I think the yeah. new leaders, they will destroy the system. Yes. Yeah, okay. We don't have to wait for the, for the end of this time. The new leader will destroy the system. Yes. Well, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. We wish you luck uh, on the meeting, on the forum, because uh, hopefully it's going to be very constructional, less emotion, more constructivism in the, in the development. I can say that to Andre that we will be there on, the, on, on Wednesday on UAT, on UAT time. Mm -hmm. And uh, but uh, if uh, you need our help to talk about anti-corruption after Wednesday, we will be happy at thank the you. end of the Thank you. All ready for thank that. So thank you. It was United Country UAT time by First Ukraine. Our guest was Andrei Dligic, co-founder of Civic Platform, the New Country. Olivier Durin and Sergei Verichansky were working for you in the studio. Stay with us, and we show to you the real Ukraine. Thank you for being with us. Have a good day, and see you soon.